my bones shall rise mafupa angu achamuka mbuya nehanda the greatest greatest zimbabwean to ever live said these words about a hundred and thirty years ago mbuya nehanda when she said mafupa angu achamuka my bones shall rise was speaking on how the youth of Zimbabwe will carry on the fight against oppression. Not oppression just against the oppression that we were suffering under the white settlers, but any kind of oppression that would hinder the progress of Zimbabweans. Zanu PF, when they fought the second Chimurenga, Zanu and Zanla, when they fought the second Chimurenga, they appropriated the name of Mbuyane Handa in their fight. But after the Chimurenga, the second Chimurenga, by their actions, they showed that they were not living according to the tenets of what Mbuyane Handa stood for. Recently, a statue has been un was unveiled in Harare by Emerson Munangagwa, commemorating and celebrating our heroine Mbuyane Handa. And I find it very offensive that they erect a statue commemorating Mbuyane Handa when they are oppressing Vasukuru and Mbuyane Handa. That right there is some bullshit, if you ask me. I made this video to illustrate and instruct and teach and show Zimbabwean youth that Mbuya Nehanda is not ZANU PF. ZANU PF does not speak on behalf of Mbuya Nehanda. The topic of this video is My bones shall rise. Mapfupa angu achamuka. Mbuya Nehanda vaka ruisa vasina mavi. She fought against the settlers. But it is our job and our duty to fight against the Vasina Nyadzi, the Zanu PF. They have ruined this country and they have the gall to propagandize us and try to gaslight us into thinking everything is okay. Everything is not okay. Who is Mbuya Neanda? Mbuya Neanda was a renowned spirit medium. She and her bay, Seguru Kaguvi, went around the country urging Zimbabweans to rise up against the injustices that were being put up against the settlers or by the settlers. Their grievances were the theft of fertile lands by the settlers, the limits imposed on the number of cattle Africans had to keep, taxes imposed by the foreigners on natives such as the hard tax and the dog tax and even in some cases the head tax. She also stood against forced labor, Chibaro. Let's look at these things. In modern times, we also face such problems. The theft of fatal lands by Zanu PF. Yes, they propound to have given us land in the uh, third Chimurenga. But that land was given along partisan lines. Not every Zimbabwean benefited. They have acres and acres while the ordinary Zimbabweans have nothing. So what Mbuya Nehanda fought for, the theft of fatal lands, still stands. We still need to fight against the theft of fatal lands by Zanu PF. Let's go to the limits of cattle. We have artificial limits put upon us by circumstances. Only they, due to their corruption, are able to have ranches raising cattle while the ordinary Zimbabwean cannot even have food on his table. We are still fighting. Taxes. We pay taxes every time. And what do they do when we pay taxes? They devalue the currency. I remember when we moved from the US dollar to the bond, I was paying my taxes in US. But when I resigned from my job, I got my pension in a pittance of bond notes they stole from me. 
forced labor. Doctors in Zimbabwe are not allowed to move out of the country to seek better pastures. It's akin to forced labor, earning salaries that are really pathetic. We have our teachers, we have our nurses, we have our prison uh, services stuff. It's almost forced labor when you go to work 20 days a month, but you can't afford to pay rent, you can't afford to buy food for your children. It's almost akin to forced labor. What Mbuyane Handa fought for still stands. We haven't realized the freedom that she was fighting for. Mbuyane Handa was smart enough to realize that the settlers would not voluntarily give power. History is full of examples of, of expressed people who took arms even against ridiculous odds. Mbuyane Handa was forced to go to war against an exotic enemy with exotic and powerful weaponry. She knew it was a trivial pursuit, but she went to war on principle. She fought the white men with bows and arrows. She knew it was a trivial pursuit. That's why she said, my bones shall rise. She was a visionary. She realized the struggle did not end with her. It was up to Azukuru to carry the fight, to carry on the fight. It is up to us, Azukuru and to carry on this fight. We look at ourselves. Someone was not simple, someone was really powerful, and we look at ZANU-PF. No, the future is in our hands. Youth is where the Mafupa and the Aganza Achamuk. Don't let the greedy ZANU-PF steal and misappropriate our heroine, Kogovedu. Buyane Handa fought for the needy and the oppressed. She was not for the greedy. She was not for the corrupt. She did not advocate violence against fellow Africans. Right now in Zimbabwe, we, we do self-censorship because we know violence will be doled out against us if we speak freely. I don't think Buyane Handa would support that. Zanu PF has strayed so far from the first Chimurenga ideals. And it's time to continue the fight Buyane Handa started. Just as Buyane Handa faced a formidable enemy, we too face a formidable enemy. Just as Buyane Handa was outgunned, we too are outgunned. Just as Buyane Handa looked at freedom as an intergenerational project, we too should look at freedom as an intergenerational project. Just as Mbuyane Handa dared, dared to stand against oppression, we too should stand against oppression. We should not place so much value on our own mortal souls, but we should sacrifice for the greater good of our civilization as Zimbabweans. No one will come to free us. I know some of us are looking at Chamisa for deliverance. MDC has been participating in elections since 1999. They almost got to power in 2000. But the truth came out that power in Zimbabwe comes through the barrel of a gun. So it is a trivial pursuit to think that the MDC has something to offer. Chamisa makes millions on every election through campaign funds that he gets. He is benefiting from the system. Why would he want to bongo Zamuto when he's benefiting from the system. Do I have the answers? No. But what I do have is a plan. Let's organize. Let's speak in one voice. Rise Mapupa Anehanda. Let's claim our inheritance. Thank you. This has been Chairman Mao. Like, share, and subscribe.